Welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole Quilts. I'm Tessa and today we're going to make a fat quarter friendly quilt. So today we're making a fat quarter friendly quilt. My daughter has two wonderful little boys who are very into sports and everything else and she spends a lot of time sitting outside watching them in their various sporting activities and just being outside with them in general and as a parent I remember what it was like to sit out there for soccer games when it was you know 30 some degrees on early Saturday morning or being there in the evenings in the late fall when it was getting cold and thinking I wish I had a warm blanket to put over my lap. So I thought it might be nice to make her a blanket that she could take with her to the different sporting events that would be made up of the boys' school colors. So these are primarily fat quarters and some are a little bit more than that. You could use whatever you have. You basically just need to be able to get 20 of the large pieces cut out and you need to be able to get 20 of the smaller pieces cut out. So we're going to get started and we're basically going to cut 20 squares that are 13 by 12 and a half and 20 rectangles that are 13 by 4. So let's get started. This is one of my fat quarters. And we're just going to start by squaring it up here. Make sure that we are straight on the edge. Then we are going to cut a 13 inch section. We're just going to set that piece aside and then from this section we're going to square it up once again make sure we're straight and I did cut that first cut on the 13 since both of my pieces will be 13 inches wide and then we are going to just slide this over a little bit to make this easier And we're going to cut this at the 12 and a half inch mark, or in this case, right here at the 42 and a half inch mark. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut the next one at four and a half inches wide, or I'm sorry, four inches wide. got an extra piece here and we're basically just going to go through all of those pieces that we had the fat quarters or the fabric until we have 20 of these and we have 20 of these so I'm going to do that and I will get back to you here just shortly and I'll show you what we're going to do next so all the pieces are cut and the next part that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take one of the 12 and a half by 13s and then we're going to choose something completely different from the other pile. Excuse me, I have minky confetti. I decided to use some, I guess it wouldn't be minky, some fireside, which is like minky and it creates a lot of fallout, <laughs> we'll call it. Anyway. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew one 12 and a half by 13 to one 4 by 13 and I'm going to sew all these together and I'll show you how they look like and then we'll do the next part. So I sewed these two together and although it looks like it's not straight it's because the plaid isn't straight. The I bought the uh, plaid off of an internet source and it 
isn't the most high quality fabric but since this is not for a show thing it's simply for utilitarian use I didn't worry about it and I'm just going with it I should have mentioned before that when I was sewing them together I'm just using a quarter inch seam so here is the first unit and now I'm going to sew the other 19 units together using a different uh, 12 and a half by 13 block um, compared to the 4 by 13 block just using different ones so that I get a really good contrasting scrappy look. I'm going to put all those together and then I will show you what's next and we'll start arranging them. Okay. So I have sewn all the units together and they're very random. I tried to put a light and a dark together the best I could. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut each of these units in half the long way. So these are 13 inches wide. So we're going to cut them at six and a half inches. Just like this and we're going to go through the whole pile and do that creating units that look like this and then once that's done we're going to go ahead and we're going to start creating twosies and sewing them together and then we'll start arranging them on the design wall okay the sections are all cut in half and what I've done is I have tried to randomly pair them together and we're going to sew them once again the long way. The nice thing is there are no seams to match up when you're doing this part. So just like the other part is pretty quick and easy to do. We're just going to do a quarter inch seam along this edge. We're going to do all of these and then we're going to start arranging them. So um, if you're not comfortable with that, uh, I have my own set of OCDs. I'm that person who would basically take the frozen pepperoni pizza and rearrange the pepperonis so they're evenly distributed. But I'm trying to be completely random with this. So we'll see how that goes. Let me just get these sewn together and we'll start arranging them on the design board. Be right back. So I got all of these sewed together in twos and started to hang them up and organize them and decided I did not like it at all. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So I thought, how am I going to salvage this? So I started playing around with my block and I thought, okay, let's see here. Maybe if I cut it in half, you know, I'll like it better. So my blocks are 16 inches long, so I, they would be cut eight inches, and this is what I would get if I cut it in half. And so I cut a few of them, and I started laying them out, and this is kind of what they look like, and I really like that. I like that way better like this than I did like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting all of these in half, and then sewing them together and the way I have laid them out is basically I have the solid square with then the horizontal row and I've laid them all this way and then the next row starts with the uh, two set the one with the two patch and then the single patch and it goes the other way so I will get these cut sew them together and then let you see what you think which way you like better All the blocks are sewn together now. I went ahead and pieced them together. So there's one, two, three, four, five units across. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units down. That is less than what the number of fat quarters we used. I, it started to get too big. And so I just eliminated some of them. But you could make it bigger, smaller, depending on whatever your needs are. 
So I just sewed them in strips and then attached them one after another. And now that it's done and sewn together, uh, we need to figure out how to finish it. So you could finish this off in several ways. You could use your domestic machine to quilt this and you could just, you know, stitch in the ditch or stitch the lines. It could be tied, which would be super easy just to take some yarns, you know, tied through your batting and your backing. That would be really cute. Or you can send it out to your long armor if uh, you have, if you choose to do it that way. So super easy fat quarter quilt. If you liked making the stadium blanket today, then please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.